Rice farmers in Kenya currently are unable to produce 146,000 metric tons against the consumption requirement of 514,000 metric tons, leaving a huge gap that is currently being filled up by imports of over 8 billion shillings per year. Part of the reduced yields can be blamed on the continued use of low yielding rice varieties that produce 3 tons per acre against a potential production of between 7 and 8 tons. Kenya Agricultural Research and Lives Organization Center Moya manager John Kiamani, however, says this gap could be closed since through their collaboration with the International Rice Research Institute, farmers are now able to access the best elite rice varieties from all over the world. Uh, the varieties are still old. Uh, we have dominance of old varieties, like the main variety developed, being used here by farmers. Basmati CV70 is very old variety. Many countries have stopped using it. So this is very important entry point is to gain the varieties, to come up with uh, varieties that are higher yielding, probably can double the yield of, of this variety. Kemali notes that the partnership has also helped in developing improved seed system, though there is a challenge in the uptake of the certified seeds that needs to be addressed. Aroma is a big issue, good quality lies, they want like probably lies that looks like super varieties. So once they do the selections, then we check those collect selections, we, after we harvest, we send the seed to them. When we send the seed to them, they go test them in their own countries for adaptability tests. If they are good, or if they perform good in their own countries, as per the requirements of their regulatory bodies, then they go through the release process. Currently, the organization is working on the development of tolerant varieties, uh, which can adapt to the local climatic conditions. Kemani notes that an ongoing fertilizer subsidy program by the government, which requires farmers to buy certified seeds and use a receipt to access the subsidized fertilizer, has increased the adoption of certified dry seeds. Nicholas Nduati, News of Our Business.